Barakatullahi wa Barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science. But you didn't start recording. Did, really? Yeah. You're sure? No, oh, you're now sure. you did. <laughs> okay. So, today is Wednesday, and the date is 31, uh, 31st of March 2021. We're going to learn about the atomic theory. What do they mean by the atomic theory? Do you have any idea what comes to your mind when you heard the word atomic? Like something that gives you signal for atom? Okay, atom, exactly. What's an atom? I have no idea. Everyone, do you, you don't have any idea? No, Guys, I try to remember. Heard. Try to remember. In grade what? <laughs> grade four. <laughs> no, I don't remember anything from grade four. Yeah, me too. Just a couple of things. Engineering and yeah, that's it. All right, girls. The atomic theory which is the teeny tiny theory, means that everything in the world made of atom. The main thing that makes everything, every single thing is atom. And atoms are-, are you made of it? Yes, of course. We are made of atoms because atoms are the very, very, very tiny, uh, teeny tiny Shall thing. In the world. What's the Italian? What are they? What are I they? don't remember them. Atoms make up elements and elements make up compounds. All right. You are made of atoms, first of all. Every single thing in the world made of atom. Atom is the very small, smallest thing in the whole universe. So, Like living and non-living? Yes, living and non-living. An atom is the smallest unit of an element that maintains the properties of that element. Let's see what do, I, what do they mean by the atomic theory by uh, uh, underlining the atomic theory. Who can read for me so we can underline together? Me. Me, okay, Jenna. Please. Maria. You see Maria, please? Um, from where? Did you find the highlighted word or not? Yeah. Okay. An atom is the, is the smallest unit of an element that maintains the properties of that element. Okay. Now, Jenna, what's the atomic theory? The atomic theory... Theory is the scientific explanation of the structure of atoms and how they interact with other atoms. Very good. So we are going to learn how uh, to explain the atom structure and how they can interact with others atom with other atoms. Let me tell you what first it contains. Over here, you can see the atom. This is the atom, okay? This is the atom. It has electrons, which they have negative charges. The red balls are protons, which has positive charges. And you have the white ones called neutrons, and they have neutral charges, which means no charges in them. All together, they make up an atom, all right? But the, the small things, uh, uh, sorry, the things are stick together over here. They make a nucleus, okay? This is the nucleus of the atom. Who swims around them? The electrons. Who swims around the atom? The electrons. So three basic things make up an atom. Proton, neutron, and electron, all right? So what makes up an atom? Proton, neut neutron, neutron and electron. electron. All right, so who has a positive charge? Proton. 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 
And mm-hmm. electron, what does it have? Negative. And neutron does not mm-hmm. have a charge. These charges are very important how they act with other uh, uh, atoms and elements. Have you ever, uh, when you touch your friend by mistake, maybe you feel some electricity? Ouch! I am. Yes. Just- yeah. When she when she finished when she just um slide from a slide, yeah. it just yeah. has but- a mass in her finger. Exactly. Do you know? Do you do you remember what happens? Do you know what is that? The explanation of this it's electron. Yes, excellent. The not only electrons. The explanation of it that when you slide on a slide, you rub your cloth to this object to the slide, and uh, you build up some static electricity. What do I mean by static electricity? Maybe you build up a lot of electrons, uh, uh, negative, negative plus ne- all all of it negative, and one see negative and negative. And and negative and negative. Once your friend come to you and touch you, she have a different what? Different charge, negative and positive. But maybe her positive are more. So once you become very close to each other, that what happens? A shock happens between that between you guys because different charges attract one another. So you feel this shock, Bzzz. how? Because different charges, they attract one another, all right? Have you ever thought of elements like gold, silver, copper, and these stuff? How they are different from one another? They are kind of rocks. Okay, they... they they take uh, people take them out of rocks but how they are different they are different because their their uh, atoms are different they are very different in electrons and protons they do not have the same numbers of electrons and protons and neutrons so this is what makes them very different a gold uh, uh, it's very different than a silver just because of their atoms. So elements, they are very different because of their what? Atoms. They are different because of their what? Why yeah. elements are different? Because they have different atoms. Excellent, exactly. Now, let's talk about elements. What do I mean by elements? Please, um, someone else tell me what's an element. Here, you can read it, please. An element is the type of matter made of just one kind of atom. Exactly, one kind of atom. So... What does it mean, one kind of atom? Kind. It means like... All right, for example, over here, they are telling you, do you know boron? There is something, there's an element called boron, okay? This boron contain, uh, contain exactly of five proton, okay? There is no other element have five protons, only boron. So if any element have five protons, what is it? What do we call this element? We call it boron, okay? Sometimes maybe uh, 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 the gold has six protons and this is what make uh, the the element very different. Take a look at these examples. Look at the neon. The neon, how many proton does it have? Ten. Ten protons. Very good. Where? What? What do they use neon neon for? Maybe for like a sign or like excellent or a laser or a television tube or a refrig- uh, uh, refrigerant. So 
neon has 10 protons. That what makes it different. What about this one, mercury? Come on, how many protons does it have? 80. 80 proton. But what do you think? There's something really different between them. This is 10 and this is 80. So also electrons are very high in number. I think they must be uh, close to each other, not very different. But what makes an atom different than another is the number of proton. So what makes atom different than another one? The number of what? Proton. Proton. Let's look at the chlorine. All these silver, chlorine, copper, mercury, and uh, neon, all these are elements. Elements. When you take chemistry, you will remember all these. And your teacher will ask you how elements are very different from one another. You will tell her because they are very different in the number of protons. They are very different from from one another only because the number of proton. So you have chlorine, silver, copper, each one has different number of proton. Chlorine has 17, silver has 47, copper has 29. So they are very different from one another. And each one of them, we use them in a different way. Now, if I want you to draw a carbon atom, he will tell you that it has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. How you are going to draw it? What should I draw in red? A proton or electron? Proton. So I'm going to draw six proton. One, two, three, four five, six, all together. And then uh, I, I will not use the white, I will use yellow, neutron, how many? Six. Do I have to draw them next to, to the uh, red one or uh, around the red one? Next to the red one. Excellent, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now the electrons. The electrons must be swimming. So what should I do? One, two, Three, four, five, six. I draw an atom. This is the electrons. Why they have a tail? Because they are moving all the time and none stopping. Okay? So the main idea about atom that atom, what will, what will do atom? Will make up elements. They are going to be different elements because different atoms. All right, girls, we can continue on Sunday about, or tomorrow before we start our um, uh, uh, activity, how when you put different elements together, they make different compounds. They make different, completely different things. Like over here, when you put hydrogen atoms with oxygen atoms, they make up for you water. See, this is how everything is different from the other. What about salt? Salt contains sodium atoms and chloride atoms. So atoms together, when you join them together, what do they make? They make compounds. And these compounds, what we are using and what we see all the time. So water contains from what and what? Water. What makes water? Gas, an oxygen atom. Is it gas? Can you see the word no. gas? Hydrogen atoms oxygen. plus oxygen atom they equals make... water. Okay, what about salt? What makes up a salt? Sodium atoms and chlorine atoms. atoms. Excellent. They make up 
salt. So what is the smallest thing over here? The smallest thing is? Water. Water. Atoms. Atoms. What comes uh, two atoms together? What happens to them? They become an? Element. And then when you combine two elements together? Compound. Compound. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. So, what about molecule? What do they mean by molecule? Um, it's made up of two or more atoms joined together chemically. Excellent. So, if you join two or more than atom chemically, so a lot of changes will happen to them and they join together, they make a molecule. Excellent. Okay, girls, we our time is up, so we will stop here. Inshallah, by tomorrow, we will finish it before we start our um, ex uh, activity. All right? Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask me tomorrow, okay? So let's so tomorrow, we're going to have, have a good Earth day. day. We have Earth Day. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to wear green. Yeah, I must all wear that. Bye.